3,000 kilometers to the Arctic Circle, a Porsche 911 SC fights its way to the far north of Sweden. In Kiel, we left Germany behind and set off on the ferry towards Göteborg. The picturesque port city presented an image that was anything but car friendly with its winding snow covered alleys, but the historical old town is still worth a visit. Particularly in winter, times move a little more slowly in Sweden, so we took it easy as well with our normal winter tires and drove through the town at walking pace. We have size 195-65 winter tires front and back, but here you actually need spikes. So I can only recommend that anyone planning to drive in Lapland in the winter should put spikes on, or at least have spikes put on up here. That way we would have had considerably more fun. Banned in Germany for the past 30 years, spiked tires are normal in northern Sweden. But even without spikes, the Porsche is a lot of fun on the deserted roads. Oncoming traffic is more rare here than a reindeer crossing the road. Often you go for ages without meeting another soul. Woe betide you if you end up in a ditch here. We might be in a sporty car, but we're still being cautious. Despite rear-wheel drive, the Porsche is the ideal classic for courageous drivers to mess around in the Swedish snow. You just have to know how. In principle, the 911 is said to have a quite powerful rear-wheel drive. That's not actually true. When I steer on snow, then it goes straight forward. I have to give the car a little push, and to do it under control, I have to tap the gas pedal. I control the drift angle with the gas pedal, and in principle, I only steer where I want to go. Our journey takes us to Luleo, a popular test area of the car industry. It's the best opportunity for dynamic driving tests in our classic. Because of the rear engine, there's a lot of weight on the rear axle. With targeted thrusts on the gas pedal, the Porsche can be drifted beautifully through narrow, snow-covered lanes. Smaller thrusts? No problem. The Porsche is frugal at the pump. It never exceeded the 15-litre consumption limit in contrast to its travel companions. The Lamborghini Gallardo and Mitsubishi Evo 8 were real guzzlers at around 20 litres. The old Porsche makes it to the Arctic Circle without any problems, even with outside temperatures of up to minus 20 degrees. Munich to the Polar Circle and back, the 911 completed 6,000 kilometers in total without any problems. A well-looked-after 3-liter SC costs around 20,000 euros. That's not bad for a reliable classic that will get you to the polar ice. <laughs>